Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm excited to discuss the release of my turnkey Ethernet controller solution, the UC400 from CNC Drive. I have had so many requests for this module, it is not even funny in terms of guys wanting to cross over to UC CNC motion control software or to just have Mach 3, Mach 4 be able to be used with UC CNC. So, Again, I've wanted to work on this. It's taken me a while to complete the project, but it is done. Um, the board is available, of course, from CNC Drive. The difference is, of course, you just get the circuit board with the mounting bracket here. I utilize the mounting bracket so that we could do a nice enclosure. I made the enclosure on my uh, MakerBot Method X Carbon. Uh, it is using a nylon carbon fiber enclosure. We can get away with this on this module because it uses a 12 volt power supply. Now it can actually use up to 24 volts, but it accepts 12 volt, and therefore we're golden with using the nylon carbon fiber enclosure. That drops the price tremendously because again, we can keep doing things in house and it keeps reducing costs. Again, we're using our TDK filtered inline switch. You simply plug this switch into the power supply and now you have an inline switch going to your unit. And what does that mean? Because I still get lots of questions on that. Well, let's show you exactly what that means. You can plug the unit in just like this. You can see that the switch is off right now. And I've got a 12 volt power supply plugged in. And if I turn it on, you can see your LED is on. Now if I turn it off, you can see you're able to turn the unit off without having to leave this unit on all the time, nor would you always want the unit to get shocked by immediately applying power with a power supply plugged in. This is not best practice. You wouldn't do it with home electronics. Why would you do it with some precision? So you can see just how easy this is. Just hit the switch, turn it on, turn it off, you're golden. Unplug, unplug, and you're set to go. This is, once again, got the TDK ferret, just like my ESS turnkey solution does. We're using our CAT7 double shielded uh, communication cable with gold plated connectors on both sides. And of course, the ribbon cable with EMI filter, which of course I feel is mandatory because ribbon cables are not typically filtered. We want to make sure all of your signals are being filtered coming from the device and also anything going to your drive because again, we want to keep everything as clean as possible. Ethernet does provide the cleanest and most stable signals out. Now, that being said, uh, you look at this and you compare prices. This whole package, as you see before you right now, is $285. That is, once again, a extremely low price for this kind of system, where once again, if you're trying to convert your system over, whether it's using a DB25 breakout board or integrated drive, to Ethernet control, which would allow any Windows PC to be used, whether it be desktop or laptop, in Windows 7 through 10 operating system in 32-bit or 64-bit architecture, you've got the cream of the crop as far as upgrading your system, and it's a plug-and-play device. So again, if you decide you want to purchase UCCNC motion control software instead of using Artsoft's Mach 3 or Mach 4, no problem. I offer that as well, and it's a whopping 45 bucks. So again, you can see exactly how the device is made. We've got a rubber feet on the bottom, tool is mounted on top so you can service everything. There's your port for your power. Very, very simple device. And we now have a solution for my guys out there who do want to use UCCNC or who want to use Mach 3, and again, at a lower price point than even the ESS. Uh, and that to me means a lot because we're trying to get away from you know using USB because many of you guys are finding out USB in the best hands is hit and miss. Some shops are okay using it. Many shops are not okay using it due to lots of different um, variables with that device. This, if you're serious about getting involved in CNC robotics at any level that requires maximum stability, these are the systems you want to look at. So I hope that it's answered a lot of your requests. I look forward to your support. Thank you. Take care.